So here's how we can combine two photos in Photoshop on the iPad. Let's get into it. So make sure you have obviously the Photoshop app uh, ready and everything set up. Obviously you need to be connected and have some sort of subscription or whatever, but you go to your Photoshop app, click on the plus button to create a new thing, like a new project, and then choose the size of the project that you are gonna be working with. Since we want to combine photos, we need to have some space for it. So uh, it's likely not going to be a small small square, but let's say I'm going to go with the, uh, you know, the A4 format, right? It's like a letter. So let's just click on that, click on create. And right now I have this new project where I can import my photos into. And right now, as you can see, I have this like blank slate. And in order to bring the photos, I need to go to the layers section on the right and it's up on the plus button in a square, right? Which lets me create a new layer, but it also lets me import photos from the gallery or even the files app. And just like that, I can select a photo from the library like this. I can move it around depending on, you know, obviously the size and the dimensions. I can just enlarge it slightly or adjust the sizing as much as I like. But I just hit on the done button and repeat the same process for another image. So I can click on the plus button to add a new layer and another photo from the gallery like that. And I can just put it together exactly as I want, right? So that's the beauty of the, the Photoshop and like a video or photo editor, right? So I hit it done as well. I can even reorganize the layers and perform all of the edits which you can do in Photoshop. But once I'm happy with the combination of the images, I can tap on the share button right there and I can quickly export it to my gallery and just combine the photos together. So that's it for me. If you need any elaborate like video or something, let me know below in the comments. It's possible that I'm going to make it just for you. I publish a lot of tutorials on this channel, so you can as well just subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you later.